morning, everyone. Good morning, relatives. My name is Wayne. Sorry about that. Wayne Williams, Snellgrove, Soto Tribe, Fishing Lake First Nation, uh, Saskatchewan, Canada, Treaty 4 Territory. Um, yeah, and it's an honor to be here this morning. It's another, it's another beautiful morning, another beautiful, uh, a beautiful way to uh, to start our day, to celebrate our day, to celebrate our life. So let's uh, kind of jump right into it. Actually, let's uh, do a little little smudge out there. I know I know many of you have some smudge out there. So let's get that let's get that going. Uh, you know, as Grandfather Tony always said, I really like to say this too, it's just kind of in case, in case you haven't noticed, uh, you know, you know, the more smudge, smudge pots and bowls that are going, the healthier the, the community. So let's, let's, let's uh, do a little smudge this morning. Uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for, Thank you for this beautiful, beautiful medicine. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you. Just thank you. Do a little, I'll do a couple little things here. So, uh, uh, a little polysanto too. A little southern medicine. So, uh, so yeah, let's uh, you know let's uh, let's start with our usual. Um, start with our usual little prayer this morning. Um, got a little pinch of tobacco, a little pinch of tobacco there. A little eagle medicine and uh, <sighs> Creator, Great Spirit, Kitty Manitou, Begwitz, thank you. Go is on to me. I love you. We love you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this circle. Thank you for, thank you for life. Thank you for my, my first breath this morning. And we are hopeful for, for, for our next. We come here in a good way, to sit in a good, uh, to sit in a good play. Walk a pick. To sit in a good way, to sit in in a sacred way. To learn to listen in a sacred way. To learn to to see things in a sacred way, learn to touch things in a sacred way. We come here to do all this because quite often we we fall short and, and we need help and we understand this and that's why we come to ceremony, that's why we, we come to the circle. We come here to to help, to help each other, to guide us, to learn about those things. Empathy, compassion, love. Everything that is comprised of, of the circle, we want to be a part of. Where we mean no harm in, in, in what we do, we come in a good way, a humble way, in a sacred way. So thank you. So thank you again for, for bringing everyone here to, to this circle. Thank you for make, making this circle so beautiful, so strong, so so powerful. Thank you for thank you for allowing us to, to have this circle. I hope good one this one. Good. So once again, uh, you know my name is Wayne William Snellgrove, Soto Tribe, Fishing Lake First Nation, uh, Treaty Four Territory, um, and. Uh, a uh, couple things, a couple things. Uh, you know, if you're new here, welcome. Um, uh, you know, welcome here. There's, uh, there's one of those concepts that we talk about uh, that I like to talk about and it's real, real important. And I write it in my notes uh, before we start, before the circle every day. And that's hollow bones. And, and it's really important that we understand what that is. And, and uh, that there's what we say, the great spirit out there. And there's a circle here, and so, uh, so the, 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 that great spirit, that great kindness, that great gentleness, that great love, that great compassion, uh, we, we uh, the hollow bones allows, uh, <clears throat> allows to flow through our hollow bones, my hollow bones, to you. So I'm in the service of 
of the Great Spirit, and I'm in the service of the circle. Uh, you know, once again, I am not leaving the circle. Everything is focused and guided uh, with, uh, you know, with with service and, and 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 humility. There is no there is no hierarchy here. So please don't please don't put me put me up here because I'm not because I'm sitting right next to you. So that's the way that works. So. So, and um, this is a, a prayer circle, too. Um, a, a one beautiful grandmother out there remind me every day, hey, remember everybody. So, okay, it's in my notes every day now to start out to. If anybody needs any kind of prayers, this is a place to put it, you know. You know, like I said before, every drop of, every drop of rain changes the world forever. Every prayer that we say, say here in this circle, changes the world forever. So let's really put that intent, you know, that healing, love and light intent out there. And again, let's be a little bit more mindful about, you know, not just, not just the two leggings, you know, not just the two leggings. Uh, let, let's keep, you know, there's a lot of other life out there. And there's a lot of other sacred circle that really need our prayers. They really, you know, we, you know, they really need our prayers for what we do in here. So let's be mindful of uh, those because as humans we're, we're really short-sighted and we think the world of, <laughs> revolves around the two legged <laughs> so it doesn't you know the world can 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 survive without the two legged yeah gentle reminder <laughs> yeah yeah the trees don't need us to to uh to survive so the beavers, the four legged the buffalo, and they don't need us to, uh, to survive. <coughs> but we need them. So, uh, anyway, and uh, also, uh, also uh, suggestions from, there's a bunch of mothers and grandmothers out there. I haven't heard from too many dads yet. But this is also a really good place to, to kind of share, kind of sit with, and uh, make this kind of like a family affair. This is really PG here, so, you know, so we... We don't talk about too many specific things as far as trauma and abuse type things. So, you know, we try to keep it PG here. So uh, just be mindful. Uh, there's a mother that reminded me of that the other day. Hey, look, hey, let's just, you know, her daughter's seven years old. So, you know, we have seven year olds out there and, and we're so honored to have those, the little ones out there. I'm so excited to, uh, to, uh, to, to have the, those families and uh, communities out there. So let's, so, uh, and also, uh, before we begin, uh, I have, you know, I've been getting a couple messages lately. Um, every tribe is different, you know. I'm Soto. You know, we do things a little differently than, you know, other tribes. Um, you know, we have similar ceremonies, like we do rain dance and, you know, the Southern Plains, you know, they do sun dance, uh, you know. And, you know, we're not here to judge to see who owns any kind of um, ceremonies or any, any kind of rituals or any kind of thing. Like, like nobody owns a smudge. <laughs> nobody owns, like, the sweat lodge. Nobody owns, like, the, uh, like the medicine wheel. And that there's certain, there's a thinking out there that, 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 that is started in one place. And, you, you know, that tribe or those tribes or those people in those tribes think that they kind of own that and, and, and it's really, that's really a misnomer. So, so you know, this, the Great Spirit talks to all of us, you know. They talk to all of us, they talk to all, all the ancestors and, and, and all the, um, and all the elders. And they speak to them in which a way that will benefit the tribe the most, the people the most. So that's why there's variance in certain ceremonies, like there's no one right way to do a sweat lodge. You know, I've sat in, in probably three dozen different kind of tribal sweat lodges and they're all beautiful. They're all absolutely beautiful. You know, there's not one way to do it like right. You know, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong, you're talking about a medicine wheel wrong, you're talking, you know, it's not about right or wrong. This is about the way the spirit is, 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 is uh, guiding us, you know, guiding the elders, you know, guiding, guiding all that. So, 
So thank you. So thank you for that and that gentle, uh, you know, reminder. Um, so. What is today? If someone could put today's on the feed here. Okay, February 12th. I think it's February 12th, right? Okay, so let's jump right in. I think we're gonna do February 12th here, and then we're just gonna look at February 12th here. You know, we go, uh, for, for the benefit of new, a newcomer, we go over uh, Daily Medicine, which is a book that I, that I wrote, which is inspired by the hollow bones, the spirit of the hollow bones and being directed and God. So this is much more uh, creator success than mine. And we also go over, um, for the benefit, uh, there's a couple new people out there, for the benefit of those that are new. We also go over uh, meditations with Native American elders. I know you see it backwards, so that's why I'm doing that. And uh, it's from John Coyus, he's a Mohican. And he uh, he runs a nonprofit called uh, White Bison, which has a program called Well Bribe. And, and it's a 12 steps and, you know, the medicine wheel type thing, hence the medicine wheel here. So, uh, actually, I'm tell me to go here first, so it's, uh, Okay, we're gonna go over uh, February 12th. Uh, if anyone wants to put that in uh, the feed. February 12th, uh, we're just gonna go over the, the Elders Court because there's a whole page of stuff here. And you know we don't have two hours here in the morning to, to do this. So we gotta, gotta hurry. We're gonna do both, uh, both today. Um, and, and this is really, really beautiful. Uh, February 12th, Winter Meditations with uh, Native American Elders. The spirit still has something for us to discover. An herb, a sprig, a flower, a very small flower maybe. And you can spend a long time in its contemplation, in, in it's contemplation and thinking about it. Lame deer, Lakota. So let's read that again. It's really kind of similar to what I just spoke about. So it's very, very in alignment. So the spirit has something for us to discover. An herb, a sprig, a flower, a very small flower. Maybe you can spend a long time in his contemplation and thinking about it. Lame deer, Lakota. You know, it, it's that, that's really beautiful. Thank you, Liam Deer. You, you know what, what, what I'm hearing from that reading is again, like, like the big picture is, is about connection. You know, it's about connection. And what he's talking about with really small flowers is those small, beautiful things, you know. Often we talked about a couple of days ago, maybe last week about, about noticing you know, there's small, beautiful things that are in other sacred circles. A flower is a part of another sacred circle, you know. You know, the, the circle of love, uh, you know, it's part of a, the, the big circle, but, but you know, those small sacred circles, you know. Like the true leg is a sacred circle, and, you know, the Buffalo Nation is a sacred circle, the turtle is a sacred circle, you know. Um, but the thing is, we, we have to understand that we are part of that sacred circle also. And that, that sacred circle is also a part of us. And what the elders and, and what the old ones say is always get in alignment with those, with those sacred circles, the, those beautiful medicines, those powerful, powerful spirits. You know, we have to get over kind of like, like if it's really small, then the spirit's really small. Kind of thing, you know. We as humans think, it, 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 like if it's bigger, it's better, and that's a really colonial idea. But what Langer is really talking about here is size really doesn't matter when it comes to listening, and he's talking about listening, contemplation, sitting with, 
bunker pit, sitting in a sacred way, you know, listening to. I, I'm constantly going over because my elders constantly, because my father talked about it, you know, and grandfather Tony talks about it. it. It's about sitting with, you know, sitting with those beautiful, beautiful things, you know, you know. You know, in the colonial world, we think, oh, it's just a freaking flower. Why would you sit with a flower? There's nothing sacred about this. But really, you know, we know as indigenous how beautiful even just a little flower is. You know, how beautiful, how powerful. The miracle, it took a billion things to go right for that flower to, 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 to bloom. To be a flower and to bloom, like a billion things had to go right, you know, had to be in alignment. And now at the end of all that, uh, at the end of all that, you know, we have a beautiful little flower. It could be a dandelion, you know. You know, the Western world thinks dandelions are like some sort of weed, but it's really part, it's really a flower, you know. It's really a flower, it's part of the sunflower nation, you know. So, you know, it's really, really beautiful medicine. You know, it's really, really beautiful medicine, you know. <clears throat> and, and we as, as indigenous understand this and we know this because our ancestors have spent a lot of time communicating with this, you know. What does communicating, you know, how does that, like how does that work? You know, you know there's some days you know, for, let's take for me, some days are, are good days and some days are better days and some days, but, but you know, I, I have to go back to what is beautiful and what is powerful and I need help doing that. So that's why we as indigenous, indigenous, we carry, we carry the medicine to help guide us. It's a place of humility and, and you know, listening to you, like if I'm having a, like a difficult day, I'll just sit here and I'll just, it's just a difficult moment. I will sit here and just pray with, you know, pray with the eagle feather for, for help and guidance and, and to just listen to. The eagle medicine goes straight to the ears of creator. Every word, every breath, and every, everything we say goes straight to the ears of creator. So we really want to have that, that really beautiful focus, connection, and intent. So the eagle really reminds us of that. To be really focused that every word is a prayer, to be prayerful, to be mindful. And again, this is another way that we that 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 we connect. You know, you know. Some of us have, you know, medicine bag. I, I have a medicine bag upstairs. You know, it's really, really beautiful. It's got some really sacred, you know, tobacco and you know, traditional medicine in there and uh, cedar and all that. So that's why we wear that. That's why we, you know, we just don't wear it when we go to ceremony because we understand we're always in ceremony. So, you know, so, you know, this is always a beautiful place to, to be mindful. So, you know, when we're sitting there, you know, with those little flowers, that's another beautiful nation that we really want to be a part of and, 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 and a part with. So, okay, so let's, let's move on to and I want to hear from you too. I want to hear in the spirit of we are the medicine. I want to hear from you too. So uh, I want to hear from what uh, from what you uh, what your thoughts, concerns, questions. Also, yes, thoughts, concerns, questions. Please, please keep them coming. Also, so. okay. Let's go. To, let's go to daily medicine. If if. Uh, Gonna volunteer to put that put that in the feeds there, so that's that's good. So uh, February twelfth, <clears throat> when it comes from our heart, it can't help but touch someone else's. Let's read that again. What time are we at? Okay. okay. When it comes from our heart. It can help but touch someone else's. Let's just sit with that. Again, short reading, powerful reading. What are your thoughts about that? What does that mean to you? What does that mean to you?
just let you know see each other from just a little probably some no, some kind of little smudge. So what does that mean to you when it comes from our heart? It can't mean all right, let's talk about this. Let, let's let's just go over this real quick. So when it's What are they talking about, heart? Let's just touch on that, you know. When it comes from that place, when it comes from that beautiful, beautiful place, you know, that's what they're saying about. Touching that, our heart is the door between the seen and the unseen. The physical and the spiritual, there's a veil there, you know, and the veil around the heart is sometimes very, very thin, you know. Um, you know, and, and, you know, with the, the power, you know, Don Corius beautifully talks about, if you ever get the chance to listen to Don Corius, please, please, please take that opportunity and talk about uh, spirit, spirit of intent, you know, spirit of intent, and, you know, you know, let's just, let's just start there, you know, um, let's see, actually, uh, Kelly says authenticity can can't be faked. All right, so that's 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 another way to look at that. Thank you, Kelly. There we go. Tracy, good, good. My thoughts for every everything. Four legged seven. Good, beautiful. This is really, really, really beautiful. You know, sp speak your truth. Speak from the heart. And, and, you know, when it comes from the heart, and, you know, you know, it, it's you know. Um, when my cousin said, and, you know, this is, this is, this is all about heart medicine. This is all about heart medicine. You know, what we're doing here, he's Cree, he's from Onion Lake. And, and, and you know, it, 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 it's all about trying to, to, trying to connect the hearts from my heart to yours. So this, this touches upon that. He said, well, it comes from the heart. It can't help but touches your, so there, there, there's, there's, there's a connection there. There's intent there. So when it comes from there, it has to be, like Kelly says, authentic. Good, bad, ugly. It doesn't have to look pretty. You know, it doesn't have to look pretty. You know, often in healing situations and healing circles and healing ceremonies, it doesn't look pretty. And that's okay. It's okay not to be okay. You know, like, you know, like we all want to think of like, like, you know, rainbows and, you know, talk about flowers, you know, talk about rainbows and flowers and touching the heart and, and you know, being really tender and finding that moment too. And, and you know, that's right. What was also right is, um, you know, that connection. And sometimes that connection comes through a place of sadness too, you know. So um, I understand what you're going through. I can relate to what you're going through. And when we do that, there's a bond that forms. And we're looking for, that's what we're looking for. That beautiful bond, that beautiful connection, that beautiful relationship, you know, you know, you know, with other people, you know. And uh, after Tracy just talked about what I wanted to talk about too, so we're in alignment. So, you know, again, you know, when it comes from our heart, uh, it always touches someone else's. And this is not just, <coughs> this is not just like a two-legged thing. From two-legged to two-legged, that, that's, that's a good place, you know? Don't stop doing that, you know? But in addition to, you know, we have to give our hearts to to others, to other circles as well. And, you know, uh, Tracy was talking about, you know, the four leggings. You know, the four leggings. You know, just like, you know, there's four leggings, man. If you have a four legged out there, you know, they're little love muffins. You know, that's what they are, man. They're just like, you know. With a cat, dog, you know, they're, they're really just, you know, they're, they're love muffins. And so I get that, like, I get that. But let's think a little bit bigger than that. You know, we can put our heart and, and we can touch all hearts. Let me tell you a little story. Okay, 827, not bad. Okay, 
let me tell you a little story. So, uh, so, so I was really, I don't know, about four or five, maybe six years ago, I was really contemplating about the heart, the heart medicine. You know, what is it? You know, really just sitting with, I had to sit with that, man. I just really, really did. You know, it's one of those things, you know, spirit kept pinging me, just sit with it, just sit with it. You need to sit with it. So every morning, I would, I would sit with that medicine. I would sit with that, that medicine. I would just sit there and just pray and have some ambil and, and, and I, you know, just sit with the, sit with that, just sit with that, play the flute. Um, I think I posted it on, on, online too. One of the pictures from uh, the Red Door Sanctuary, that's where it was in uh, Miami. And, and I would sit there and I said, you know what? And there's beautiful trees there. We have live oaks there in Florida. So, uh, so, so I asked the, uh, the spirit of, of the live the live oak. Actually, this is really in alignment with what Lane Deer said today. You know, sitting with, honor, listening to, you know, connecting to. And so I was really trying to, to connect with, with uh, the, the standing people, the tree nation. And as, as humans, we, we, we were very short-sighted. Um, we, we have a hard time really thinking past ourselves, you know? We are really, really super uh, selfish, you know? The two leggings are really, really super selfish, you know? You know, the rest of the world is just kind of rolling their eyes, like, oh my God, the two leggings are like, just <laughs> killing us again, you know? So, uh, not funny, haha. -ha. I, I don't mean that. But, so I, I'm, I'm asking the, the tree, where is your heart? Because I really want to know. I just, hey, you know what? And, you know, the beautiful thing came back is, and this is really, really beautiful, and I sat there and cried for like half an hour. It's all heart. That's what they said. And I go, wow. I would have never come up with that. I would have never, ever in a million years come up with that. So I actually went up to the tree, um, you know, just pretend this is a tree. I just kind of went up to the tree and I touched it. I said, oh my God, it's just like beautiful. It's just just absolutely beautiful. And then I went up to, to like the branches and, and I, I touched yeah, yeah. the branches too. And I said, wow, that's, that's amazing. That's absolutely, absolutely so beautiful and so powerful and so amazing. And the whole thing is all heart, you know? It's hard, not in like the traditional, you know, again, we have to get out of the, the traditional bu -bu 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 thing, uh, the physical heart, but, but the spiritual heart, that's what I'm talking about. The spiritual heart, that tree, and it goes to all the other standing plant nations out there too, you know. Like they all have, like, I mean, got to that place where I could feel, feel the energy running really really beautiful it was really just like wow it just gave me so it gave me this whole new perception whole new way to love and understand and connect to 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 all the tree nations all the plant nations it, they're all heart that's it they're all heart i didn't know that i didn't know that going in and thank god you know thank god you know and, and you know thank god Thank God I was able to, thank God the elders told me to do that. Thank God the spirits guided me to do this, you know, to, 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 to make that connection, to make that understanding, to make that power. So I offer you this medicine too, the same as Lame Deer. Lame Deer's talking about the same thing. Lakota, thank you. Talking about the same, same thing, you know, about sitting with, let's just touch this, you know, have this, let's just, reinforce this one bit. So the spirit still has something for us to discover. Okay. The herb, the sprig, the flower, a very small flower maybe, but you can spend a long time in contemplation and thinking about it. Thinking about it. Honoring. Building that relationship. Lame Deer. So thank you. Thank you, Lame Deer. Thank you for for, 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 for bringing that and honoring that, that beautiful <coughs> that a beautiful teaching. So you know, again, you know, you know, again, so beautiful, so powerful, but yet so simple. And yet it's right in front of us every day, every, every day, you know, 
that we can make make those those beautiful beautiful uh, connections. So. debating when to go on or not, but it's 8.32 now, so I really want to kind of keep this, uh, keep this a little, little shorter, and it's almost, uh, okay, let's move on to announcements, uh, announcements, uh, book giveaway, book giveaway, thank you, Sandra Rivers, for, for, for bringing this, this medicine, uh, to the circle, uh, if you need a book, Daily Medicine, uh, there are people out there that can, uh, like, like you have a couple extra dollars and, and you can offer this book to someone in uh, the circle here. Thank you. Uh, and for those of you who, who are uh, struggling a little bit financially and you really want and need a book, uh, you know, uh, get together in the circle. Let me know. Let Sandra know. Uh, you know, again, let's not put it on the shoulders of, of, of a few people. You know, if you got a few, like a few extra dollars to, 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 to offer for, for a book, let's, uh, let's go ahead and, 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 and do that. Uh, big shout out to Jim Burns, I know, and, uh, uh, Tracy Joseph Crest, uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for, thank you for everything that you've done guys are really really big supporters I love you both thank you for you know you know they're really you know the medicine is is you know we we are the medicine we we share the medicine we keep wanting to to share this beautiful beautiful medicine from from spirit so so thank you um okay uh next announcement uh 2 p.m today standing bear me Kanipa went Macqua uh story time again today story time and uh have a couple stories in mind haven't quite decided i think i think I, i'm moving in the direction of, of one but we'll see what spirit has to say usually spirit uh, i think last week spirit just kind of smacked me over 10 minutes before the 10, 10 minutes before the uh the live and uh, spirit just kind of changed the channel on me and i'm like okay all right i'll tell this one all right so so uh you know i'm thinking of telling a uh, certain story but i'll just sit with that and with spirit so that's today 2 2 p.m eastern standard time this is all eastern standard time so uh you know so so if you want to join join us for that uh because i know uh, many of you uh, really just sent, sent me a lot of beautiful requests and uh so oh, we, we love your stories so and uh you know again uh, these aren't my stories uh thank you grandfather tony stonehawk i have to always always be thankful for him and his medicine you know i really have to be thankful so it's just man to save my life man i wouldn't be here if it weren't for him you know the elders this is the elder grandfather tony so uh, also um there's a podcast today but there's a little hiccup there uh it, it might be at 10 a.m uh, noon uh but then she said it what might be 3 p.m mountain so uh, we'll kind of sort that out but as soon as we do i'm going to talk to her right after the live here and 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 post that too so uh post that too uh that's going to be a zoom thing too so i will post post all that uh on the feed here and also on both pages too so so i think that's it i think that's it oh and the podcast is with julie uh Julie Woodup, uh, she's out of Colorado. She runs a shamanic art center uh, out in Colorado. And I've been invited out there to do, to hold uh, some lectures and ceremonies too. So, uh, you know, whenever this thing goes away, um, I'll be on my way too. Uh, so uh, that's very, very, very exciting. So I love you all. No one said that they love you today. I love you all very, very much. Uh, you know, this is just a beautiful way to uh, to start a day to just kind of sit with, you know, sit with, really connect with, you know, a beautiful, beautiful uh, set of people and, and, and hearts and, and spirits and, you know, all those things, you know, that you bring, you know, bring to the circle, you know. And again, it's important to know, you know, we want all, all of you here, you know, good, bad, the ugly too. It's important that we represent all those. And again, in the spirit of, it's not, it, it, it's okay not to be okay. 
you know, that's why we come to ceremony. There's a mission. And, and that was your question I had the other day. Oh, well, I can't come. I feel bad. Well, you know, some days you need the circle and some days the circle needs you. So that's just kind of, that's what the ancestors told me, man. So, you know, we don't, you know, we don't all have to, you know, we don't have to be perfect here. And I'm not asking you to be perfect here. You are beautiful and you are enough exactly, exactly the way you are. Exactly the way you are. And sometimes, again, sometimes you need the circle and sometimes the circle needs you because we all kind of ebb and flow. And, you know, we all feel really good and that's when the circle, you know, the circle needs you. And sometimes we're a little bit down here and sometimes you need the circle type thing. But the thing is, you know, we can't, you know, again, sharing that medicine, good, bad, the ugly too. So I'm getting pink left and right here. So this is kind of like, uh, because we're all going through something. And, you know, I get that. I'm with you. And uh, you can talk about it in a general way. You can, you can message me too. You know, this is just, you know, again, prayer circle. If, if you need some prayer, say, I got some personal things going on. I got some health things going on. I got some, you know, interpersonal, you know, relationships going on. I got this going on. I got that. Going on. Oh, the woman's, oh, yes, thank you. Chanel is on it. Oh, my God. Chanel, thank you. Thank you. One more announcement. So uh, the women's group, yes, the women's women's uh, healing circle Monday, uh, seven thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Zoom. Chanel, you were awesome. <laughs> you were awesome. Thank you. I love you. You're awesome. Thank you. Um, I think I just took took a big step away. I, I kind of started that, and, you know, in 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 because uh, I love you, women. and and as men. You need your power, your strength, your voice. And that's kind of where that came from. And then I knew eventually I was going to just step away from that circle and just know that that circle is in there and, and they're doing their thing, man. And so so I guess I'm in that place right now, you know, in, in, in that place of just honoring that space and know the women are in there. So the women, uh, the women, uh, uh, the, that's for, for women only. Um, also, let me, uh, let me, there's, uh, had a situation to uh, request the other day. I think I'll just, I think I'll just talk to Sandra and Chanel about that too. Um, because the females are energy and sometimes males have that, that, that female energy, the two spirits. So we'll, we'll talk about that. So, but it's really your circle. I, I'll just kind of give that to you. So anyway. That is it, Chanel. You're awesome. Uh, let's close out in uh, the usual way. Let's take the the standing nation. We'll will take us out the cedar, specifically the cedar circle. Well, will take us out. So uh,
So thank you. So thank you, everyone. You know, uh, it's, it's been an honor to be of service to, to you this morning, in cir uh, the circle and uh, the great spirit this morning. Again, if you're new here, we do this every every day at uh, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we also do it at 9 a.m. on the weekends. So uh, all Eastern Standard Time. And again, one more thing. Let's take, let's take what we what we got here today, what we, what we learned today, and let's carry that with us the rest of the day. You know, again, the old ones always say the ceremony really begins after the ceremony. It's easy to be, feel beautiful and special and wonderful here, but we have to carry that to all other circles out there. That's, that's the real ceremony right there. So, I love you all. I love you all, and uh, hopefully I'll see many of you later today. So uh, once we get that podcast thing cleared up, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll post that right away. So, uh, so thank you for your patience with that. I love you all. Bye-bye.